Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video update here for Bitcoin, we are trading at $16,841. 24-hour volume, we are down 26%. And market cap, we are up 0.94%. Heading over to our weekly chart here, you guys, I did want to point out we are in a downward peril channel here. And what that basically means is that we are continuously making a lot of higher low peaks and a lot of lower low peaks. And it's parallel to the top of our tread line to the bottom of this tread line and it is a continuation until one of the two things happen number one we are in a accumulation phase and the price is going to break the upper trend or it is a continuation of the current trend and that is what we all know is a bear market. We can see several cases here getting further apart of our moving averages here. Now, once essentially we do get any type of hints of a bull market, I will update you guys as we are progressing in our daily videos, but we do essentially see, and we have seen that is a death cross here of a larger moving average, which is our 200 moving average crossing above a lower moving average, which we hear we see is a 20 moving average. So we are going to continue to see the price drop. Now here already we can see the downwards channel that we are currently at. We are hoping, hoping that the price continues to come up and retrace higher into our numbers here. If we do see a primal effect here and the price is retracing downwards, then the um, parallel channel is going to be broken and it is certainly going to be a continuation of this downtrend itself. And here is our next retracement for our Fib chart at 13,300, which is very, very daunting here for Bitcoin. We can see that the RSI of our stock RSI is continuously dropping. So we can anticipate that the price for Bitcoin may hit the 15,800 in the next couple of days or so. Now heading over to more of a four hour time frame, we can see here that the price aggression of Bitcoin is continuously going up. However, we're hitting a resistance line at the 17,100. We can see that a few things here that we are considered to be overbought here is our stock RSI. We've seen that cross over here at 97% and we can anticipate that the price is going to come back down as well. Um, a few things here too, our MACD indicator that does measure momentum is getting smaller in these histograms as well too, but we have seen a second wave of a price incline as well um, when the price in the MACD indicator is showing us darker green. But if we take a look here, it is going to gradually get smaller of our MACD indicator that measures momentum and price is going to come down to our last area of supply and demand here because the price from our last video of our parallel channel, again, coming down to an area of support at our golden number at 78%. This is the number to look out for is 16,200. We can see a few of our candlestick ranges coming down to 61%, especially in the last six to eight hours coming down here. Now this is going to be the test here if we are able to hold our moving average as an area of support and of course it is close to our trend line that we've been creating a lot of higher low peaks again with higher low peaks it does just show a lot of weakness when it comes to the seller's point of view opposed to the buyers but if the buyers can only push the price at seventeen thousand and seventy four dollars it does hit a roadblock and the sellers may take advantage of the marketplace and and break this trend line at the very top here. Um, so if we do break essentially the 20 moving average here and the 61% of our FIB, you can see how close they are together. Then the price action is going to bring us all the way down here at 16,200 and retest that area of um, support. So definitely let me know what you guys think down below. On the weekly chart here, it is a little daunting to see how much of um, so far in the week we have done compared to the previous week itself. We do need a huge jump start to at least push the price at the 18,000. 400 if we want to see the price come back and retest this parallel channel at the resistance. But enough of me talking. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the video and channel as well. But I'll get I'll see you guys next time. Bye.